I want to share with you a Bible verse that literally changed my life. The truth of this verse has had a profound impact on both my life and ministry. Here's that verse. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse number 14. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So why is this verse so powerful? It reveals to us that the Holy Spirit is a person. He's not a thing, a force, an idea, or a shadow of God. After all, how could one fellowship with an idea? How could one share a friendship with a shadow? Really think about the implications of such a truth. The Holy Spirit is a person. Now, I know you've likely heard that before, but just because the truth is often repeated does not mean that a truth is rightfully appreciated. The Holy Spirit is a person, which means he has a voice. Acts chapter 8, verse 29 says, The Holy Spirit said to Philip, Go over and walk along beside the carriage. The Holy Spirit has a will. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 11 says, But all these worketh that one and the selfsame Spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. The Holy Spirit has feelings. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30 says, And do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, He has identified you as His own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Think about this. The Holy Spirit has a voice, so it's possible that He can be ignored. The Holy Spirit has a will, so it's possible that He can be disobeyed. The Holy Spirit has feelings, so it's possible that He can be hurt. Think about this too. The Holy Spirit has a voice, so it's possible that He can be heard. The Holy Spirit has a will, so it's possible that He can be obeyed. The Holy Spirit has feelings, so it's possible that He can rejoice over our actions. Furthermore, the Holy Spirit is a person, which means He can befriend me. He can befriend you. It was the simple idea that I could fellowship with the Holy Spirit as a friend that set me on a spiritual path leading into the deep things of God. Friendship with the Holy Spirit, or fellowship, is a gift from God. In every moment of every day, you can abide in the presence of God. Because the Holy Spirit dwells in you, you can enjoy His presence even during the seemingly mundane moments of life. You don't have to search for an atmosphere. You are an atmosphere. You don't have to look to heaven, for heaven is in you. In my moments of sorrow, He hurts with me. In my victories, He celebrates with me. In my living through everyday occurrences, He is there. He brings life to my every moment. He is with you now. He sees you now. He's in the room with you now. The Holy Spirit is a person, and that person is your friend. The truth is simple, powerful, and has the ability to transform your life. The Holy Spirit is your friend. You are a friend of the Holy Spirit. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free teachings like these, sign up to my emailing list by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.